Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to this, our final Lenten Digital Devotions. And I invite us to sing along, if not celebrate God, with this wonderful song by Andre Crouch, my tribute, O oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Say thanks for the things you've done for me, things so undeserved, yet you gave to prove your love to me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, someone. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Our scripture lesson for today is taken from Psalm 116, verse 1 to 2, and verse 12 to 14. And it says, I love the Lord because he has loved, heard my voice and my supplication, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. Verse 12. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? 
I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all of his people. The word of the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, Father God, as you allow yourself to dwell in us today, in the presence and power of your Holy Spirit. Speak to us, O Lord, on this topic. Let us toast the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Toasting is common at weddings and celebrations, and it is often a statement expressing the good that has been done by the person who is being toast. So my question is, have you ever toast God? Do you have any reason to lift up a glass or cup towards heaven and express a toast to God? If you have not done so, why not this morning, this day, Holy Thursday, like the psalmist, burst into a song of praise. Tell God how good he is, how good he has been. You know, we often say God is good and God is good all the time. Perhaps we can do so by raising a toast next time we say that. Psalm 116 is a part of a larger group of psalms. Psalms from 113 to 118, knows as the Egyptian Haliel. The word Haliel means praise. This word is related to the expression Hallelujah. In Psalm 116, the psalmist tells us how to say thanks to God. Verse 12 asks, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits? towards me. In other words, what does God prefer in the way of a thank you, a thank you note, or a toast? When you look back at your life and think things over, can you really say that God is deserving of your toast? I think so. God is deserving of our thanks. My friends, Jesus has rescued each of us from eternal damnation, and for that alone he is deserving of thanks. But have we taken the time and made the effort to say, Thank you, Lord, or to raise a toast and express our thanksgiving to God? Just as Andrew Crouch asks, How can I say thanks for the things he has done for me? Lastly, the psalmist suggests that we can say thanks to God by going public with our praises. That is, let us, letting others know how good God has been to us in the public. Let us not be ashamed of our God. So if you are able to walk and enter your workplace, then give God thanks publicly for having a job if we are able to enter our cars or take a plane flight then let us thank god for his mercy towards us when we enter the supermarket and we can buy groceries even as the prices may be high let us thank god for his provision we're able to purchase when we go to the doctor's office or the hospital or the pharmacy, all in an attempt to get medical help in order to be restored to health? Oh, someone, let us thank God for his healing mercies through those who have dedicated their lives to serve us through their calling or their vocation. Again, the psalmist encourages us to do so openly. Be not ashamed, but toast our God openly. And I'm trusting that there is someone raising a toast to God this morning. 
I am sure that this Holy Thursday, you know, we know that our hallelujahs belong to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Lord, we give you thanks for having taken us through the journey during this Lenten season. Yes, 40 days and 40 nights. We are coming to the end. Tomorrow we celebrate with thanksgiving, your offering of yourself on the cross. So, O oh God, we know it was possible, indeed made possible because of you. And for that, we just want to sing, my hallelujahs belong to you. Yes, God, you deserve it. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, open your mouth and worship the Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He deserves the praise today. Come on, everybody, all over the room, open your mouth and worship. Lift your hands and bless them in this place. Friends, God is deserving of our praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah be to God on this Holy Thursday. God is deserving of our praises. Praise Him, somebody. Bless His name for His work of salvation that He did in our lives. Hallelujah. He did on the cross. Praise His name. He did just for you and for me. Amen and Amen. 